It's my first time making these. We have some homemade tartar sauce. I made it different this time. This is my spicy homemade tartar sauce with a side of cucumbers and I'm drinking water. What's up Yummy Bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all already see it, okay? Um, I'm drinking water today. Uh-huh, yes, y'all. Mmm. cold and delicious so y'all <laughs> this is my first time making this um it didn't come out the way that I saw it come out but we're gonna see what it tastes like hopefully the flavor is good and no I did not taste it before I came on camera because I like to share that moment with my audience okay i might need some of this i don't know we're gonna put it up here and see what it do let's pray amen <laughs> okay let's take a thumbnail first Delicious. Mmm. These taste like um croquettes. Like tuna croquette. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. If I didn't have this tartar sauce, I feel like these would be average. This tartar sauce and took it to the next level. Mmm. 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 Mm. Yummy delicious. Mmm. Y'all, we're going to be trying some, like, new stuff, okay? Tomorrow is going to be something new also. Hopefully it comes out right. <clears throat> mm. Yummy, delicious. At first, y'all, okay, so I cooked these in the oven. Um, and if you want the recipe, just go to my family vlog channel. I uh, recorded it, and it'll be up today. But these start off in the oven. And so when I took them out of the oven, they didn't look like uh, old dudes <laughs> that, that I got the recipe from. Because his looked like he fried them. But he said he put them in the oven. So, mm. since mine didn't look like his, 
I put mine in the air fryer to see if it would look, you know, like his. And I'm gonna show y'all his, hold on. Mm. Egg, shape them into sticks and bake for 20 minutes. And man, these fish sticks are good. Do y'all see that? Mix a can of tuna, cheddar, and egg. He's, he goes pretty fast. And there's only a couple of ingredients. 20 minutes. And man, these fish sticks are Do good. Do you see his? Mix a can of tuna, like, cheddar, what? and egg. Like, what? His actually look like fish sticks. And his name, y'all, oh my God, hold on. His name is um, I Rick on TikTok. I mean, they're still good, but I just wanted mine to look like his. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. I use the same ingredients he used. Same thing. I ain't switch nothing up except for the. He said do a cup of cheddar cheese, and I just did a little bit over because that's how much I grated. So <clears throat> <clears throat> y'all, whatever. It's still good. I just wish that it could have looked better you know what i'm saying like i like my food to look good too mm. so y'all it's late again today I, I gotta get myself together as far as this time goes because i don't ever record this late but i've had like these past couple of days and like there's no reason for it because i wake up in the morning, you know? I mean, I had some things to do today, okay? They kept me busy, but still, I was done with them at a reasonable time. Mmm. This tartar sauce is spicy. I put a bunch of cayenne in it to make sure it was gonna be spicy and baby it definitely is um it rained today and it just made it gloomy and y'all know what rain does to my you know what i'm saying like it just i don't know i, just, I hate the freaking rain i don't like it i like sunshine not rain <laughs> Mm. Oh, y'all. Did y'all see that, like, red table talk that um, some of the members from uh, Love and Hip Hop had about um, Erica Mena? Y'all know Erica Mena came out with an apology, right? Y'all. And before the apology, Yandy had approached her just to let her know, you know, how her words affected, like, a whole group of people. Not just Spice, the one she was talking to, you know. And, and basically, she said that, um, um... Spice violated her. And she said, if anybody ever violates her, is she going to violate them even more? So basically, um, Spice went below the belt and uh, Erica went to hell with hers, okay? And she said, whatever anybody does anything like that, like, she don't care. She said, all gloves are off. Like, she could say what she want to, basically. And, you know, and you just can't, you know? Mm. And at that time, she was like, um, she would do it again. You know, if Spice ever violated her again or anybody else, she said she'd do it again. 
But then she kind of changed her words. She was like, she wouldn't say that what she said to Spice again. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. But, you know, she'll go below the belt again. Or she'll go to hell again. And so, anyway. This. I hope to God that it is still here. Here we go. I hope they don't copyright me. Yeah, oh, and p that's what people were saying. They were saying that um, Erica was triggered, okay? Um, and Spice was like, you can't trigger somebody to be racist. You know what I'm saying? Like, that already got to be in you, you know? Like, can't nobody, like, say something to you for you to be racist. It's already in you, okay? And so... Uh, hold up. I'm glad she actually spoke up for herself and said that. Apologies, they sorry about my. Let me read y'all the apology because y'all not gonna be able to hear this because. Apologize because your Far too all that culture and not be that has elevated white more Eurocentric people. Most people know about. Girl, where is the apology? Hold on, y'all. This apology is here. Some dag on me where. Don't tell me what they said about me. Conversation. Cool. So at this clip of the. Oh, this shit got me so motherfucking. Oh, y'all. It's one more thing, too. Hold up. Don't tell me what they said. Tartar sauce. Hold up. Here's how Jada saw. Okay, you know what? Oh, and Charleston White then went way too far, honey. Charleston? talking about he um he's gonna put 20 on um somebody that will go and um hurt one of prime's uh prime time's kids and i'm like what are you saying and they mama got on the internet and i don't even know why he said that y'all like i don't know why does anybody know why because i have no clue um but he said it and it's going around the, all of the internet. Um, he, his, uh, the, the kid's mama, she's on TikTok now, right? She got on there and she did like a Stitch video with that video. And she was like, you gonna, you, you gonna get somebody to hurt my kid? My kid? I know they gonna press charges. They need to press charges against that fool. We're calling Spice a blue monkey. According to TMZ, Erica Mena says she's sorry for calling her reality show co-star a monkey. But she insists there was no racism behind the insult. So Erica's statement says, I deeply regret my insensitive comment and want to humbly apologize to anybody I hurt or offended by my thoughtlessness. My choice of words was wrong and I take full responsibility for what I said. I am committed to listening to the voices of those affected and will work toward making amends. As a woman of color and the mother of two black children, I want to make it clear that my use of that word was not in any way racially driven. That said, I do understand the gravity of what I said and want to use my platform to promote inclusivity and equality. She wants to use her platform for inclusivity and equality, but there's no apology on her platform. She has 7 million followers on Instagram, and there's no apology here. That incident was recorded months ago, and she never issued an apology. So what y'all think about the apology? She never even mentioned Spice's name. So she hasn't apologized to Spice because she did it to Spice, even though she affected a whole community, you know. Uh, but the thing is, is that she says that it was not racially driven. I know that she was upset when she said it, but of course it was racially driven. You said it to hurt her. You know, unfortunately, it was a, a racial statement that you made, like, you know, but for her to say it wasn't racially driven, like, go ahead, like, you already apologized, just admit that it was, that's what it was, or, or maybe, uh, you know, now I realize that, yes, that's what it was, but don't, you know, I don't know, I ain't going for that apology at all like she she should have just said what it was you know yes i know it was racially driven i apologize i'm gonna work on myself um uh, you know so i can learn you know 
whatever she needs to learn. Like, you know what I'm saying? So she can learn her lesson and not ever do that again. And so she would know like where that comes from. And you, and I think she already knows that. That's why she said it. She knew it was hurtful. She was trying to hurt Spice. So that's why she said it. Like you knew, you already knew. Like I'm not even going for it. Like she's willing to do the work and all of that stuff. Come on, come on. Like you know better than that. You're a grown woman. She, Completely she grown. She lost multiple jobs and she anyway. Um. You dropped the bomb. Oh, let me not sing the song, y'all, because I can get cop copyrighted just for singing the song. It's ridiculous. Um, $20,000 on any college player that I heard his song and motherfucker. So this grown-ass little guy wants to put it. This, here, let me let y'all hear this. $20,000 on any college player that I heard his song and motherfucker. So this grown-ass little guy wants to put a hit out on my son? On my son, Charleston White. Let it be known. You're putting a hit out on my son? $20, Crazy. He is, cr like, he's gone too motherfucking far. Haven't y'all heard him, like, on these interviews saying that he does this uh, for clout? Like, he, all this, like, the ridiculous stuff that he says that we're just like, oh, I can't believe he said that. He's doing it on purpose for clout, y'all. Like, he gets paid for saying stupid stuff, you know? Or, um... Or un uh what do you call it? Um unpopular statements. Who get paid for that? For drama. Anyway, somebody needs to stop him right in his tracks. Here's how um, went from being a First of all, okay, let me talk about my boy real quick. Jay Versace. I watched this girl video. Y'all remember Jay Versace, the one who shouted out our family back in, when was it? Oh my God. It was when we was living in Bryan. I was obsessed with watching his videos on YouTube. Back then he was a YouTuber and he was funny. Like he did like funny skits and he was just funny, right? And he was entertaining to watch. And um, I just love watching him. And then, uh, come to find out, he shouted our family out, y'all, on Twitter, I believe it was. Yeah, Twitter, saying that we were his um, family. And, y'all, I was like, oh, my God, I can't even believe. Y'all, could not believe that he shouted us out, but he did. Anyway, so I was watching um, TikTok today, and I, oh, I came across this girl's video, and um, she was just talking about, you know, where he came from and, like, what he's doing now. Y'all, did y'all know that he had anything to do with producing music? Did y'all know that? Because back then, he was just doing YouTube. Like, I didn't even know he had any type of passion to produce music. Anyway, come to find out, he has worked with, uh, okay, I'll tell you this. His last project um, was with um, Doja Cat's, I guess, her, her new album. Y'all, he produced, I don't know how many songs he produced or what songs he produced on there, but he was a producer on her freaking album. He's worked with, did, did they say Drake? Um, he's worked with a lot of big freaking stars. And, excuse me, I was wondering... Like, what happened to him? Because it's almost like he, like, fell off the face of the earth. Um, he wasn't making videos no more on YouTube. I think he still has a channel, but he wasn't making videos no more. Um, I just didn't see him on any social medias. Then he popped up on, um, on TikTok. And then, uh, you know, I think I only saw, like, one video or something like that. And then I didn't see him anymore. Anyway, come to find out, he shut down his TikTok page. I'm like, I wonder why he shut it down. Anyway, he's booked and busy. Okay, maybe that's why. 
Y'all, a music producer? <clears throat> that is amazing, okay? Like, I had no freaking clue. Did y'all know? Do y'all even know who Jay Versace is? Mmm. Mm. I just think that's amazing. Oh, amazing. I just wanted to tell y'all that little tidbit. And this is how I make um, so. Okay. So, there is a young lady. I believe that... Oh, I was about to say New York. No, it was in Chicago. So... Their neighbors, they was having some type of um, get together. Um, and these are some Mexican people that lived next door to them. They were having a get together. And um, they were trying to get the little girl. It, it's, this is a little girl. Hold on. Let me, hold on. This man is cussing because he's pissed. But I understand him being pissed because what happened to her is out of freaking control. I can't even let y'all listen to the ending part because he is going in. Hold up. Eleven-year-old Trinity Washington prepares for a second surgery this week. My eyes, there is so much pain. My eye and my nose. Sunday night, the girl had emergency surgery on her eye. She and her mother say the injuries happened after neighbors hosting a Mexican Independence Day celebration used a racial slur against the African American family. That word shouldn't be used towards us. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be used. For towards anybody nobody should use that word because that's a bad word a few minutes later two women allegedly attacked the girl when she didn't move her three-month-old yorkie so i guess they asked her to move her dog little bitty dog y'all and i guess she wasn't moving the dog fast enough so two of the women Adults over there attacked an 11 year old and y'all all I could think about is They live next door. Where was her mama at? Where was her mama? Like <laughs> Y'all anyway They did a sit-down interview the mama didn't want um, to show her face and I'm just I, I didn't hear anybody ask her like where was she? Like, two grown women beating up on your daughter and y'all live next door? Like, where where was the adults? Where was her family? You know, they could have took care of that without even having to report it. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I would have been, uh, if I was that mama. Anyway. <laughs> I know what a lot of y'all would have did. And it wouldn't have been a wait to uh, get justice. Girl, please. Out of their way. The sixth grade honor student and cheer captain honor named student. her puppy Barbie. Washington and her mom say Barbie was stepped on by one of the women but survived. Then they say the aggressors targeted Washington. I looked up. A bottle came towards my face a and bottle. thrown they to my face. Bottle. I dropped face. down because I felt something hard. She punched me in my nose. Girl. When she punched me to, in my nose, I almost blacked out. Because I feel... Y'all, like I said, they live right next door to these people. They live next door. Nobody was arrested. Nobody is still arrested. This happened like, what, two days ago, I think? Maybe three. I don't know. It's been a few days. Just a few days. Nobody has been arrested. And they live next door. Anyway, the man who made this um, video. There's so many people in the comments talking about what part of Chicago. 
and all of that talking about um no nah, we don't need no um no justice from the police like wow y'all waiting on the police what y'all if they haven't arrested this lady yet what y'all think the police is about to do i'm i don't i don't have any face i'm sorry I have no faith in that at all. Which I would have done. Let me know in the comments. Like, if you weren't nowhere around, because we don't know where mama was. Um, you know, she could have been at work. She could have been at work. Um, and the baby, she, you know, she might have to stay at home by herself. You know how sometimes kids got to stay at home by themselves. Um... But obviously, I mean, there was nobody there to help this little girl. I wonder how it stopped. Like, I need details. Like, that is crazy. Two grown... <clears throat> oh. Two grown women beating up on an 11-year-old child. Like, I can't imagine, like, her doing something so bad. Unless, well, they, they hollered a racial slur, so they must don't like black people. And maybe that's why they were so irritated just looking at her black face. Like, oh my God, people are so weird over just freaking color. It's so weird. The hate runs so deep. It's ridiculous. People don't even care if they're doing it to a damn child. child children ain't even off limits. It's crazy. Y'all were waiting for the police? I'm sure they called the police and they came over there and didn't arrest no freaking body. Like how, how a child was beat up, a child. God, it's eight o'clock. I have until like I actually have until about nine because I had a yogurt at one o'clock today. Yeah, yeah, I think that's gonna be my thing from now on, honey. Those vanilla yogurts and that little um like trail mix thing that I have that keto trail mix is so good y'all like oh my god it's too good mm. Mm. y'all heard about rock Rock, Krishan, y'all, I feel like she needs to chill. She needs to chill, sit down, and, like, stay off of live stream. My God. Like, she got on live stream drunk. Like, girl, what are you doing? Everybody in the, uh, in the live stream asking where the baby is and stuff. And she was like, don't worry about where the baby is. You know, I guess she was just trying to have her some fun since, you know, um, you know, she had the baby. Maybe she just needed some time to herself. Maybe she just wanted to drink. I don't know. But, girl, do it to yourself. Because, uh, offline, because people are so freaking judgmental. Like, people are already talking about calling CPS on her. Like, oh, my God. She must ain't worried about it. Mm. Yeah, I'm full. <clears throat> but I'm gonna eat these cucumbers though. So. Um What else y'all?
an art school in Houston has abruptly shut mm. down and wiped clean. Y'all, this is for, for the people that's in Houston. Well, you know what? They have other locations in other um, states, but the Art Institute of Houston, they abruptly shut down their campuses, all of them. Let me know in the comments, was anybody going to the Art Institute of Houston? Um, I remember the Art Institute, like, as far as I can think back. Like, they have always been in I mean, they haven't always been in Houston, but they've been in Houston for years. Ever since I was little, you know. And they just, all of a sudden, shut down. People going to school and, it, you know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, they shut I'm t I'm like, what are they going to do with, like, people's credits? And, like, how are they going to work all of that out? You know? That's weird. Like, with the financial aid and... Mm -hmm. Except for a single page. The Art Institute of Houston sent shockwaves to the community after emailing students on Friday to the school email. is permanently shutting down, effective September 30th, you imagine 2023. Your school Other shutting down? Other with the Art Institute system, including schools in Miami, Atlanta, Austin, Dallas, San Antonio, Tampa, and Virginia Beach will Tampa. also be closing their doors for good. The Institute has already wiped its site and replaced it with a closed school information page wow. that directs students to online resources for sorting out their financial aid, transcript requests, tax forms, and transfer opportunities. Students and professors have been caught completely by surprise with this. One student who was- I mean, the students and the people that work there. I didn't even think about that. Just all of a sudden, donezo. That's so messed up. What if, man, what if some people was about to graduate? Y'all. And I don't even know of any other art institutes in Houston. They probably have some. I don't know. But I don't know of any. Because wasn't the art institute of Houston like a two-year program? Like, wasn't that like an associate's degree? I don't know. But, yeah, they shut down. Unfortunately. Yeah, I was watching this other video of this girl. Oh my God. The police. Okay, so she was at work, right? She was at work. I don't know if this is legal, though. Y'all let me know. This girl was at work. And the police came in her job. In her job. And wanted to talk to her. Um, because she, um, they were, I guess, scanning the parking lot. And noticed that this car, the tags were out of date. It hadn't been registered since 20... 11 or something or 2013 like it was, it was something ridiculous okay and um it just nothing and then um they said that the plates didn't even match to, to that car anyway y'all so the police is you know letting her know that or whatever and this situation y'all The policeman was trying to get her to cooperate. She just would not cooperate, y'all. And I just couldn't for the life of me understand why. You know, like, she was she was fighting and, re like, resisting the police. So they wouldn't um, handcuff her. Anyway, they finally got her handcuffed. Yeah. They finally got her handcuffed, got her in the back of the cruiser, and she put her foot where they, you know, was going to close the door. She put her foot there and she wouldn't stop. She wouldn't, like, she wouldn't move her foot. They tried to move her foot. Then she scurry and just do something else to where she was blocking the door from being closed, right? Y'all, this went on for so long. I was so irritated. Y'all don't even understand because I don't know. I just, I can't imagine um, you know, 
<laughs> like doing that, like doing that with the with the police, like you know what I'm saying, like getting smart, any of that stuff, you know. Um, I feel like if you feel like you've been done <clears throat> been done wrong, don't handle it with them. Do it the professional way. Let them do whatever they're gonna do because you cannot fight the police. I feel like you won't you won't win. You know? Unless you know your stuff. Unless you got a good mouthpiece. And some people just don't have that, you know? <clears throat> or you you know the law or whatever. Uh, and sometimes you can't even win with knowing the law. So let them do what they need to do. And yeah, he's a uh, live streamer. Let them do what they need to do and handle it afterwards. You know, call your lawyer. Do it like that. Anyway, she was giving him the hardest time. Then they tacked on another charge for her. Um, They were going to let her go until she started doing all of that. Y'all, I don't know. It was just, it was very irritating to watch. I just, I don't know. For the life of me, I can't understand why people uh, fight. You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I can't understand why people fight the police. Like, I think it's crazy. I really do. Anyway, so, y'all... Um, I would give these a, um, a 8 out of 10, y'all. I give them an 8 out of 10. Um, I don't feel like they came out like his came out, but they were still tasty. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully my <laughs> recipe tomorrow is going to be better than it. I mean, I have a feeling that it is, but, um, oh, excuse me. Yeah, y'all. You know, sometimes you win some, and then sometimes you lose some. And, you know? I mean, I'm not saying it was a total loss, but it, it was a little bit. Just for the way that they looked. The taste was good. Mm. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all are following me on Instagram and TikTok. Y'all, I just got a freaking... DM from my people. Oh my God. That's the one that I put up. What? Yes, I did. Y'all, they are telling me that I did not put the... Anyway... And I did. I'm just going to have to. Anyway. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Mm, 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 mm. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. Hey. 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 Uh, uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all.